Anger on the streets of the Algerian capital, the scene all too familiar in a region that's been rocked by unprecedented political upheaval in recent weeks. The leader of a banned political party, seen here with his supporters on a day which saw tear gas and clashes on the streets of Algiers. The people are not afraid. It is the systems that are afraid. It is a fallacy. They say it's the people who choose, so let the people choose. Defying a ban on protests, thousands came to demonstrate. Like those in neighboring Tunisia, and most recently in Egypt, their complaint is against the government. That and the demand for President Bouteflika to step down. Tens of thousands of police officers tried to pin the demonstrators into a square in an effort to separate them from pro-government supporters. Arresting hundreds, there were reports that the jails in the city's police stations were full. The government is scared. The government is running scared because to get 35,000 police officers with anti-riot gear and, and hundreds of police vans around the square, that shows you how frightened is the regime from its people. A state that is afraid from the internet and the Facebook, it's not a respectable state. People are here. They've lost fear from the regime. This is just the beginning. People are saying, we'll be back more organized and with more resolve. <laughs> Protests in Algeria have been continuing on and off for several months. They started even before those in Tunisia and Egypt. Saturday's protest was planned a few weeks ago by opposition groups. But Friday's resignation of Egypt's President Mubarak has galvanized those demanding change. Algerians have similar demands to those of Tunisians and Egyptians. They complain of high unemployment, rocketing food prices and poor housing. Above all, they are fed up with a corrupt authoritarian government. We've had enough of those degrading policies, enough secret killings, enough poverty and life in humiliating conditions, enough with the lack of freedom. The government has promised to lift emergency rule, address unemployment and allow more freedom of expression. But this most recent crackdown and the heavy-handed approach is unlikely to win them support. Banu Patnagar, Al Jazeera.